I was on a family vacation in 2015 and that's where I met one of my distant uncles for the very first time. I was shocked to find out that he was paralyzed and could not even lift a spoon. Imagine having someone to help you out through every single task of your day. That was his life. And when I looked into this further, I found out that uh, other people at the rehabilitation centers are were going through the same thing. Modern rehabilitation is currently time consuming, it is psychologically strenuous and it is quite expensive as well, costing upwards of 11 lakh rupees. And that's when I decided, okay, I'm actually going to do something. I'm going to try and help my uncle recover. My name is Zain Ahmed Samdani. The name of my organization is ExoHeal and we help paralyzed patients recover 30% faster by combining robotics and neuroscience. Uh, I started reading books uh, on neuroplasticity and neuroscience and stroke and things like that. I made my prototype, I tried, out, I tried it out on my uncle and my uncle was able to feel sensations on his paralyzed hand on the very first day. So after the first prototype had been completed, I submitted the idea for the Google Science Fair. Thankfully, I was selected as a global finalist. And from there onward, I've just been exposed to so many more opportunities, so many more contacts, and I've been using those to, to develop this idea further and try and bring it in the hands of people that need it most. The first people I went to for support was my mother. Uh, she is my biggest inspiration and after her I started to approach, approach some of my peers that were in the robotics industry. Some of them were working on medical products back then as well. And from there I started to approach doctors, physiotherapists and alike brought together a team from various competitions, events, hackathons, sources, and, and my schoolmates as well. We are currently a team of five people from three cities in India. I believe that empathy is at the core center of creating any form of significant change that, that there is because empathy basically allows you to put yourself in other people's shoes, experience what they are experiencing in those moments and try and relate to them in such a, in such a deep level that you are, that you are automatically motivated uh, to try and help them out or to try and create that sort of change. In everyone a changemaker world, everyone is trying to bring a positive change, not just within their own lives, but within the, but within the lives of other people as well. No matter how small a step towards change is, it still counts. Everybody's collaborative rather than being competitive amongst ourselves. That is the way I believe that society should function as.